What is up, YouTube? Um, I have a new tutorial for you guys today. Not necessarily a usual tutorial, but um, I've been making a lot of montages lately, min uh, episodes, montages, stuff like that. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys my color correction because I know a lot of you guys liked my color correction, and I know a lot of other people liked my color correction. So I just want to show different color corrections. I might show like two to three. But I'll show you color correction basics for Adobe After Effects. This works for all of them. Adobe After Effects, um, CS2, CS3, CS4, CS5. Uh, right now I'm using CS5.5. But it doesn't really matter. Um, just going to put it in this clip. Now, for this to work really neat, just uh, drag these curves a bit. Okay. Okay, so for this to work really good, you're going to want to go on the bottom where it says toggle switches and modes and make sure modes is enabled. That's switches. This is modes. Make sure modes is on. Now, this is the easiest color correction anyone can ever do. Um, and you're going to need to do this for all the correction, color corrections uh, I'm going to show you. You're going to want to click on the clip on the bottom. You're going to want to hit Control C and then Control V to paste. So it's copy and paste. <clears throat> oh man, my throat hurts. And then I just woke up and it's 12 a.m. I know. I'm a no life. Um, first, on the second, on the clip that's on top, where it says normal, you want to click on that and click on overlay. And that's a basic color correction that looks really, really good. I'm sorry, it's a bit laggy. Um... <clears throat> can't run a lot of things at the same time okay so I'm gonna click that on normal this is the first color correction and this is one of the best color corrections I have that I invented myself so click on the second one the one that's on top and you want to go to effect color correction curves now on RGB you're gonna want to raise it up this top part you're gonna want to raise that up up to uh, Let me see. I'll raise it up to about there. Grab this corner one, move it to the side a bit. Uh, that's too much. Right there. Uh, move that down. Right there is good. And uh, channel, change that one to red. Sort of kind of the same effect. Curve this one down so it'll look like that. Bump this one up. Um, next one, well, you can pause this video at any time to copy my settings. Uh, next one is green, which is basically the same thing. So I'm gonna bump this up to about there. Bump that up to about um, there. Uh, maybe bump up the top part a little bit. Now, if you want to make these little bullet points, you just want you click, you left click, and you get a little bullet point. And just delete that one. Next one is blue. Now, blue is sort of the opposite, so you're just gonna raise this one down, or lower this one down, to about there. And raise this one up to about here. And that's actually really dirty and it looks really sick. But that's not all. Uh, next, you want to go to Effect, Color Correction, Hue and Saturation, which is all the way down here. Now, leave the channel on Master. Master Hue, you want to make that a 6. Master Saturation, you're going to want to make that negative 35. Master Lightness, 0. And that's it for that one. Next, you want to go to Effect, Color Correction, Photo Filter. Now, where's this filter? You want to make that one blue. And the density uh, to about 18%. And make sure Preserve Luminosity is uh, checked. Oh man, I'm sick. <laughs> 
Um, next one, you want to go back to effect color correction. This time, you're gonna want to go to brightness and contrast, which is all the way up here. So brightness, let's make that a two. Contrast, let's make that twelve. And it looks really, really sick. Now, if you want to leave it like that, that's cool. But to make it look even better, um, uh, mode, make sure instead of normal, make sure it's on overlay. And that makes it look a lot more sick. Now this is a really, really awesome uh, effect, or color correction. This is one of my favorite ones that I've made. I use this in a, I haven't used this color correction in a while, but it's still, still really sick. Okay, next one I'm going to show you is for Mojo. If you have uh, Magic Bullet Mojo, this is real. This one's really good. There's two of them that I made. Um, you're gonna need to do the same thing. Make sure the top one's on overlay instead of normal. Uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, this is Mojo Color Correction One. This is sort of a green, uh, uh, sort of a green um, vintage color correction. So copy down these settings. Mojo 100%. Mojo Tint 0%. Mojo balance 72.96 warm it 18.94 punch it to 40.97 bleach it to zero skin color oh no <laughs> skin color to negative 98 uh, skin squeeze so low leave those at zero and the rest at zero and uh, I have another one which is way better my mojo color correction too. It's more of a darker blue, I guess you could say. Anyway, mojo's at fifty-eight point fifty-nine. Mojo tint is at sixty-one point sixty-seven. Mojo balance is at eighty-seven point twenty-two. Warm it at zero. Punch it at sixty-seven point eighty-four. Bleach it is at zero. Skin color is at zero. Squeeze skin squeeze is on zero. Skin solo is on zero, and the rest is zero. <laughs> um, and that's about it. Uh, I have this one. I named it OG, but it's basically nothing. <laughs> uh, I have vintage. It makes it kind of different, but yeah, these aren't really good. This one might be a bit cool, but it's the same thing. Uh, so yeah, those three or four, the ones I just showed you, um, those three, I guess, are my best color corrections for Adobe After Effects. I hope you use them and get a bit more creative with them. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.